The embattled Great Barrier Reef is again facing a possible mass bleaching and a possible endanger listing this year. See a little bit more colour? The government hopes this money may have some sway. Our government's put $2 billion already into world leading management of this reef and now we've put another billion in. We're seeing coral spawning, IVF if you like in the water with larvae being produced and some possibility of scalable options that will really make a difference with heat resilient corals. The billion dollars is spread over nine years and kicks in when other funding ends. Most is earmarked for improving water quality. That's been a focus of government spending for years. But so far, it's mostly failed to achieve its targets. Last year, in its own assessment, the government gave itself an A for reducing dissolved nitrogen in the water, but an E for sediment levels and a C for particulate nitrogen levels. Overall, the reef got a D for its condition, unchanged from the previous report. Conservationists welcomed the funding, but said it wasn't nearly enough. It's a lot of funding, but unfortunately it's not enough. It's estimated that we need $4 billion investment just in water quality to meet the water quality targets by 2025. And the billion dollars still doesn't address the elephant in the room. The greatest risk to the Great Barrier Reef is climate change. And until we have a government willing to take real action on climate change, it's just not good enough. You cannot save the reef by approving new coal and gas mines. We're looking at band-aids on arterial wounds. The reef needs surgery, and the surgery is us addressing climate change. The Environment Minister acknowledges climate change is the biggest threat to the reef and maintains Australia is pulling its weight. We're not sitting in our hands. We're getting on with working to support what we can in terms of building its resilience. It's not clear this cash splash is enough to save the reef, either from climate change or the UN's in danger listing. But with an election around the corner, it'll be up to voters to decide whether this government is serious about the environment. Michael Slezak, ABC News.